All right, so I wanted to get into the recent news that, of course, Nina Turner is now going to join the TYT family. And Zank Uger went on Twitter to make it clear that I'm so proud that Nina Turner is now part, part of the TYT family. She has arguably the strongest progressive voice in the country and is going to be an amazing addition to the Young Turks. And furthermore, Zank Uger went into explaining how she's going to be regularly being a guest host on the Young Turks, as well as other shows that are found on the TYT network, including the Damage Report and Indisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie. Personally, personally, I would strongly advise individuals to check out Indisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie. I think it's one of, if not the best, best progressive shows that are found within the left tube community within the current context. However, I think this was a good decision that Nina Turner made in terms of joining the Young Turk network. Now remember, a lot of individuals may bash the Young Turks at times, even former members, but a lot of these individuals have to credit some of their success to the Young Turks and the fact that they were once a part, a part of the Young Turks network. And this is individuals that may or may not still be a part of the Young Turks network. Of course, David Pacman in the past has been associated with TYT. Kyle Kalinske has been associated with TYT. Jimmy Dore has been associated with TYT. Now, individuals often criticize Zank Uger, but we also have to give him credit on Justice Democrats, him and Kyle Kalinske. So Zank Uger's definitely contributed to the progressive movement, and moreover, the Young Turks have tremendously contributed to the progressive movement despite some of this infighting that consistently persists to this day between tyt and various other former members that used to be aligned with tyt whether that's jimmy Dore and even kyle kalinsky apparently recently have, has distanced himself from tyt and or the tyt network now the only slight disagreements I may have in terms of this decision is she could have also joined the Black News Channel, such as joined Charles Blow, Mark Lamont Hill on their network or on that network, such as shows that are found consist of Charles Blow show, Mark Lamont Hill show, and so on and so forth that tend to focus on Black News, hence the term Black News Channel. Or she could have also joined Roland Martin. Those are two paths that she also could have taken. But, but this was also a great decision for her to make. Now, some individuals are taking some sort of stance that she sort of sold out because she's joining the Young Turks Network. Now, no doubt everybody on the left has agreements and disagreements and some take this specific strategic analysis some take that specific strategic analysis as long as we're arguing within the realm of good faith all that should be up for discussion therefore i wouldn't frame her as being some sort of sellout because she's joining some network that was against against force the vote I was personally for force the vote. I'm for force the vote now. Medicare should have been expanded decades ago. It's a national travesty that it hasn't been expanded. 70s, 80s, 90s, 21 years into the 2000s, we're finally looking to expand it. That should have been dealt with decades ago, especially when you take into consideration the fact that all other modern industrialized nations already have a single pair like healthcare system, one form or another. So... No doubt there's criticisms to be found when it comes to the Young Turks. There's criticism to be found when it comes to the Jimmy Dore outlet. There's criticism to be found when it comes to Kyle Kalinske's show. There's criticism to be found when it comes to breaking points. All this analysis is fair game and individuals should provide good faith critiques when it comes to other members of the left tube community. But... But for her to take this path is definitely commendable because she could have easily transitioned into corporate media and probably would have been getting paid even better and gotten even more visibility. But instead, she chose to take the progressive path and align with TYT. For that reason alone, no doubt she does deserve to be praised.
And I, for one, am looking forward to some of the analysis that she's going to articulate, especially, especially some of the segments that are going to come now in terms of her appearances on one of my favorite shows, Indisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie. Great decision, choosing to align with the movement as opposed to the corporate entities, whether that's not only corporate media, but various other outlets that are found. 